Throughout history, the title of royal mistress has adorned the pages of British royal history, spanning countless generations. Amid the luxury and behind the heavy curtains of palatial rooms, tragedy and scandal often fall upon these women, while society turns its judgmental gaze upon them. Amidst the whispers and condemnations, however, there remains a secret admiration for those who have achieved this coveted position. Now, let's explore 14 terrifying secrets of the most influential mistresses in British royal history. 1. Sarah Churchill Sarah Churchill and Queen Anne shared a profound and enduring relationship that spanned nearly three decades. When Anne ascended to the throne in 1702, their bond had already withstood the test of time, having weathered the stormy years of the Glorious Revolution and the tragic loss of their twenty children. Sarah's unwavering loyalty to Anne even strained her relationship with her own sister, Queen Mary II. Although both women were married Sarah to John Churchill, later Duke of Marlborough, and Anne to Prince George of Denmark their connection transcended the conventional boundaries of kings and servants. While the exact nature of their relationship remains a subject of speculation, it is widely believed that their affection for one another surpassed mere friendship, owing in part to Sarah's memoirs and Anne's passionate letters. Anne's affectionate words reveal a deep emotional bond, as she implores Sarah, you can't believe how much I love you unless you see my heart. Remarkably, despite their stark personality differences Sarah being known for her sharpness and occasionally harsh treatment of the shy and fragile queen their relationship endured. However, conflicts arose over political matters, as Sarah aligned herself with the Whig party while Anne leaned toward the Conservatives. The strain grew further during Sarah's absence from court, her unkindness upon the death of Anne's husband, and the arrival of Abigail Masham, who showed the Queen greater kindness. The final meeting between Sarah and Anne occurred in 1710, and though Sarah regained some status under George I, reconciliation with her old friend proved elusive. 2. Robert Dudley Elizabeth I, one of England's most iconic monarchs, shared a complex relationship with Robert Dudley. Although their acquaintance may have begun in childhood, it was likely during Elizabeth's imprisonment in the Tower of London that their connection deepened. However, their romantic involvement probably did not commence until shortly before Elizabeth's ascension to the throne in 1558. Within a year, their reliance on each other was so evident that even the Spanish ambassador acknowledged Elizabeth's deep affection for Lord Robert, noting that she never allowed him to leave her side. However, Dudley's existing marriage posed a barrier to any potential union with the Queen. He had married Amy Robsart, his teenage love, in 1550. Tragically, any prospects of Elizabeth and Dudley marrying were dashed when Amy met an untimely and suspicious death in 1560. Elizabeth, a shrewd politician, was not willing to risk her throne as Mary I of Scotland had done. Although Dudley persistently pursued the idea of marriage for the next 18 years, Elizabeth remained steadfast in her decision not to wed him. Nevertheless, Elizabeth and Dudley remained inseparable until his death in 1588. It is said that he remained her great love, and his absence left her in a perpetual state of melancholy. In fact, the politician Sir Thomas Shirley remarked to Dudley in 1586 that he understood the Queen and her nature better than anyone else. Elizabeth cherished the last letter Dudley ever wrote to her, keeping it in a coffin by her bedside until her own passing in 1603. 3. Anne Boleyn Anne Boleyn, a mistress who ascended to the position of Queen, captivated Henry VIII, leading him to divorce his then Queen, Catherine of Aragon. However, her triumph was short-lived as she faced a tragic fate. Accused of treason, Anne Boleyn was executed, becoming a central figure in the political and religious turmoil that heralded the onset of the Reformation in England. While Henry's intentions regarding replacing his wife with Anne remain unclear, he had a history of infidelity and fathered illegitimate children. Compounding matters, his allegiance to Catholicism hindered his pursuit of a divorce. Yet, with only one daughter to succeed him and no male heirs, Henry became convinced that he needed a new wife. It was fortuitous for Anne that she captured his attention precisely when he resolved to seek an annulment. Anne's impact on England's religious landscape was profound, although the Reformation was already a burgeoning force. However, their marital union was brief, lasting just over three years. Tragically, Anne's downfall came swiftly. 
Accused of treason with Henry's complicity, she met her untimely demise on May 19, 1536. Her fate not only sealed her own tragic end but forever altered the course of English history. In death, Anne Boleyn became a symbol of both the precariousness of power and the enduring impact of her brief yet tumultuous reign as Henry VIII's ill-fated queen. 4. Mary Boleyn Mary Boleyn, a woman entwined in the complex web of Henry VIII's romantic affairs, first captured the attention of the English king before her sister, Queen Anne Boleyn, entered the picture. Born into privilege as the daughter of a wealthy English diplomat and courtier, Mary enjoyed a proper upbringing befitting her noble status. Mary's association with the royal court commenced when she was bestowed the honorary role of bridesmaid for King Henry's sister, Mary Tudor. Mary Boleyn's time at the French court soon earned her notoriety due to her involvement with various suitors, including a rumored liaison with Francis I, the King of France and a rival to Henry. Upon returning to England, Mary entered the service of Catherine of Aragon, Henry's first wife, as a maid of honor. It was during this period, around 1520, that her relationship with Henry VIII commenced. The exact duration of their affair remains a subject of debate among historians. It is speculated that Mary may have given birth to two children from her relationship with Henry, although in an official capacity they are both named Carrie. 5. Queen Camilla Camilla Parker Bowles, born into an aristocratic family, found herself entangled in a complicated love story with Prince Charles in the 1970s. Their paths crossed at a party or perhaps during a polo match, and despite their undeniable connection, both Camilla and the young prince went on to marry other individuals. Charles famously tied the knot with Diana Spencer, while Camilla wed Andrew Parker Bowles, with whom she raised two children. Thus, a love triangle began to take shape, ultimately becoming one of the most intricate and heart-wrenching tales of love in British history, filled with scandals, betrayals, and countless twists and turns that reverberated through the very foundations of the monarchy. Queen Camilla, once regarded as Britain's most vilified woman, weathered the storm of public opinion throughout the 1990s, with her role in the breakdown of Charles' marriage to the late Princess Diana often cited as a cause for blame. Their tumultuous love affair and the ensuing turmoil shook the royal family to its core, leaving an indelible mark on the institution. However, despite the challenges in public scrutiny, Charles and Camilla persevered. In 2005, they finally exchanged vows. Camilla assumed the title of Queen Consort when Charles ascended to the throne as King Charles III. 6. Arabella Churchill Arabella Churchill, renowned for her sharp wit and intelligence, held the position of King James II's mistress in 1665. Their affair resulted in the birth of four children, and intriguingly, Arabella was a distant relative of the king. It is said that the Duke of York, as James was known before his ascension to the throne, fell deeply in love with Arabella when an incident occurred during a hunting expedition in 1665. One day, she went hunting and fell off her horse. Arabella fell to the ground and suffered a concussion, revealing her underwear and legs. Despite her physical appearance being described as pale and slender, with little more than skin and bones, James was captivated by her intellect and sharp mind. In contrast to the renowned beauty of Margaret Brooke, who was considered one of the great beauties of the era, Arabella Churchill's allure lay in her wit and intelligence. This enduring relationship spanned over a decade, surpassing Jameis' previous romantic entanglements. Arabella and James were together for seven years, even while James was married to Anne Hyde. Their bond persisted even after Anne's passing, as James went on to marry again. 7. Alice Keppel Alice Keppel, a beloved figure in the life of King Edward VII, held a special place in his heart as his favorite mistress. Their relationship began in 1898 when Edward was still the Prince of Wales and continued until his death. Remarkably, through her daughter Sonia Cubitt, Keppel is the great-grandmother of Queen Camilla, the wife of King Charles III. Keppel hailed from a noble lineage, descending from Robert III of Scotland, and was considered a suitable match for the youngest son of the Earl of Albemarle, whom she married in 1891. Despite her lavish socialite lifestyle, Keppel faced financial constraints and embarked on affairs with wealthy aristocrats, with her husband's consent, to fund her extravagant way of life.
It was almost inevitable that Alice caught the eye of the Prince of Wales, who was known for his promiscuity and fondness for the company of married women. They met in 1898. Their passionate love lasted 12 years and brought Keppel great fortune, helping her to acquire many homes in England and abroad, and provide for the whole family. 8. Nell Gwynne Nell Gwynne, a true icon in her time, started her journey as a prostitute and went on to become one of the first renowned actresses in British history. Often referred to as beautiful, witty Nell, she is undoubtedly one of King Charles II's most famous and enduring mistresses. While Charles had numerous lovers throughout his life, totaling 13 in number, Nell was known for being the least driven by material gain. In fact, as Charles lay on his deathbed, he pleaded with his successor, the Duke of York, to ensure that poor Nellie would not suffer from destitution. Unlike the other women who captured Charles' affections, Nell never received an official title or noble rank. However, she possessed a cunning wit and employed clever tactics that ultimately secured a title for her son. 9. Catherine Swinford Catherine Swinford's path intersected with that of John of Gaunt, the Duke of Lancaster and the third son of King Edward III, during her time as a damoiselle in the household of his wife, Blanche. Following Blanche's passing, John entered into a strategic marriage with Constance of Castile, securing his claim to the Castilian throne. Tragically, Swinford's husband passed away merely two months after their union, leaving her widowed with three children. Despite their connection remaining discreet prior to her husband's death, in the spring of 1372, Swinford's status as John's mistress became public knowledge. Swinford and John welcomed four children into the world, all bearing the surname Beaufort. However, by 1381, the Duke's reputation had plummeted, and Swinford faced severe criticism, being branded as a scandalous and repugnant temptress. But then, in a public ceremony held at Lincoln Cathedral, John and Swinford were married, legitimizing their relationship. 10. Wallace Simpson Wallace Simpson remains a popular figure in British royal history, forever associated with the profound impact her relationship with Edward VIII had on the monarchy. Their controversial romance ultimately led to Edward's abdication in 1936, altering the course of succession. In many ways, this turn of events was a blessing for England, as it averted the reign of a king whose suitability for the throne was widely questioned. Instead, it paved the way for the ascension of Elizabeth II, who would go on to become the longest reigning monarch in British history. While Wallace wielded significant influence over Edward, she never attained the coveted title of queen. Her role as a lover and companion to the king placed her among the ranks of other influential figures throughout British history who, despite their profound impact, were not royal spouses. This intriguing dynamic highlights the significant power and sway that individuals close to the monarch could possess, even without the formal trappings of marriage. 11. Alice Perrers Alice Perrers emerged in history as the widow of Janin Perrers, the esteemed jeweler of the king. It was during her time as one of the queen's court ladies that she crossed paths with Edward III, their fateful encounter believed to have occurred around 1364. At that time, Alice was merely 18 years old, while the king stood at the age of 55. Remarkably, there is no evidence of Edward having had a mistress prior to Perrers, and out of reverence for his ailing wife, his affection for her remained discreetly veiled. Following the passing of his beloved Philippa of Hainaut in 1369, Alice Perrers began to assume a more prominent position within the court. As the king's health gradually declined over the ensuing eight years, he lavished her with gifts and bestowed upon her jewels that once graced the queen's collection. Alice was even granted the esteemed title of Lady of the Sun during a public tournament, a testament to the extent of the king's devotion. He enabled her to amass vast estates and attain guardianship, catapulting her into the realm of Britain's wealthiest and most influential woman. Alice Perrers exemplified not only her astute business acumen but also her independence as a woman of her time. It is important to acknowledge that she was not the sole individual seeking to capitalize on the aging king's deteriorating mental health, yet being a woman made her particularly susceptible to scrutiny by contemporary chroniclers. 12. Mary I. James Hepburn, the Earl of Bothwell, and he was described by the British ambassador as a glorious, hasty, and dangerous young man. 
Their paths first crossed in 1560 when Mary was still the Queen of France. Although there were accounts of an intense friendship between them, there is no concrete evidence to suggest that they were lovers during this period. In fact, Mary is believed to have fallen in love with Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley, whom she married in 1565. In 1567, when Darnley was murdered, Mary and Bothwell were both accused of orchestrating the act. Despite being abandoned by complicit Protestant aristocrats, Mary stood by Bothwell's side during his trial for Darnley's murder. It is probable that she was aware of the plan to kidnap her in 1567, although the violent nature of the subsequent attack may have caught her off guard. With her position weakened and lacking support, she made the decision to marry Bothwell on May 1567. Following a series of scandals, Mary was eventually forced to abdicate the throne. She sought refuge in England but was met with a grim fate. Accused of plotting to murder Elizabeth I, Mary was executed on February 8, 1587. Her tumultuous relationship with Bothwell played a significant role in the events that unfolded, leaving a lasting impact on history. 13. Melusine von der Schulenburg Throughout much of his reign, George I faced significant unpopularity, largely attributed to the influence of his mistress, Melusine von der Schulenburg. Their relationship began around 1690 when George, still the elector of Hanover, and Melusine, serving as a bridesmaid to his mother, crossed paths. George's marital situation was remarkably intricate, as he had divorced his wife due to her infidelity and had been entangled in a scandal involving the murder of her lover, a crime for which he was suspected. When George ascended to the English throne in 1714, his mistress accompanied him to England. As with many royal mistresses, von der Schulenburg's status and future were entirely dependent on the king. Despite society's judgment in the ridicule she faced regarding her appearance, she remained devoted to George throughout her life, ensuring her place by his side. Melusine von der Schulenburg's unwavering dedication to George I demonstrates the emotional complexities of their relationship. Despite societal pressures and personal challenges, she persisted in supporting the king, even in the face of public disapproval. 14. George Villiers James' preference for male companionship became widely known when George Villiers, known for his appealing physique and charming personality, caught the king's attention. However, Villiers had to patiently wait for two years until the downfall of the current favorite, the Earl of Somerset. Once the opportunity arose, Villiers swiftly filled the void and their intimate relationship seemed confirmed in a letter he wrote to James, asking if his love was now stronger than their memorable time together in Farnham. Elevated by James, the elder monarch, Villiers became the Duke of Buckingham in 1623. Their connection was not merely a gay love affair, but also a dangerous one, as James once again chose a mistress ill-suited for crucial advisory roles. The king's blindness to Villiers' corruption and incompetence placed the nation at risk. In his own interest, the new duke orchestrated the impeachment of a man attempting to reform the king's finances, igniting a conflict between James and Parliament while concealing his own illicit activities in Ireland. He even called for a war with Spain to divert attention from his disastrous negotiations, which almost resulted in. If James had been aware of Villiers' actions, he likely would have forgiven him. What a surprise! What impression did the whole thing you just watched leave you with? Don't hesitate to click the like, share and subscribe button to update new videos every day. Thank you for being here.